Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ignacio Super G, this time with the Dauntless video. And I'm, I'm excited about this video because I got to try the new Bastion Cell. Now, the Bastion Cell increases your shields for 15% and it stacks 25 shields for 25 seconds. You can also use a Grand Slam, but you lose all your shields. You lose all your shields and you can do up to 150% of the shield in damage with a 30% cooldown. Now, the Slam isn't really important. What's important is that the more shield you have, the better it'll work with Galvanize mod. And the Galvanize mod, as I said before, gives you, for every 50 shield, gives you 1% crit and 50% crit damage. Now, I'm doing electric uh, escalation, so I'm taking the Agoras Terra Hammer. And in this hammer, I have the Skarn variant. Now, the Skarn variant gives you, I think it's a max 200 or 300 stacks of shields. Then, I'm taking the Skarn Lantern, which also gives you shields. So, you see where I'm going this. I got shields from the Hammer, shields from the Lantern, and more shields from the Bastion. And all of this is being combined with Galvanized. Which means, when I reach a max of 1000 and something shields, I have a 20% crit chance. And I'm just blown away because I'm already using overpower and cunning in the build. So I'm hammering these things down left and right. I'm going left and right on these guys and they have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I mean, this is a really, really cool setup. I mean, it works only with the Scar and Lander or only with Terra weapons. But in this case, it was working so well and I got the best perks. I got some of the best perks in the game, you know. I got Locust Power, which on Latin Hole gives me 30% more damage. I got a Vital Eidolon that does a little bit more damage even if you're not looking at the Behemoth. I got a Spiteful Onslaught, onslaught which is with the Lantern Hole, I have 50% more crit and 10% speed. And at the end, right before I fought the Malcarion, I got Full Throttle, which is even 30% more chance. Which, at the end, it was no surprise. I mean, it was I was a surprise. It was a surprise to me, but when I saw everything combined, I was like, yeah, that, that, that was meant to happen. I got my first Malcarion Flawless Win, taking less than 100 damage. I was so psyched when I saw that. I mean, it was a it was a, an amazing run. It was really an amazing run, and Bastion works wonderfully. It really does. I mean, the active part of it, when you when you use your slam, you really have to have something that would punish your seals fast. In this case, the Scarlet Lantern is a good choice because it does this shield automatically, and because it has stones swir swirling around, each time the stones hit the behemoth, they are also stacking up the shield that much faster. So you have the shield, you have the Scarn Hammer, and you have the Bastion. And it, I mean, it's a it, they say it's, it's 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 a middle level field. It's not a high crit high, high reward like discipline. It's not just a survival ability like Iceborne. But I feel that it's kind of meta. You know, for most most of the game, this is kind of meta. This is like the the bread and butter that you should use all the time, really. <laughs> I mean, more than Iceborne and more than than Discipline. Mis Discipline is maybe if you want to deal something or maybe go for some kind of record or something like that. Iceborne is maybe if you're you know if you're really low on health and you have no potions. In my case, I already have the the Steel Path potions full, so I got eight potions. So it doesn't really matter. But if you only have three, maybe you could use Iceborne against most behemoths. But if you're not, if not. Bastion really seems to be a really level playing field Omnicell, and it was introduced just recently. The only thing I would change is, of course, the slam. I do like that the slam, you know, gives 150 power stamina of shields, but it should have some kind of regeneration on its own, maybe. You know, like Iceborne, when you use the, the Ice Spear, you get more lifesteal. So, you can use the slam, you get more stacks for your shields, or faster stacks, maybe, I don't know. It, could, it needs some kind of balance in that part, or else, as you see in the footage, I'm rarely using the slam just because I wanted to keep my crits up, because I'm using the galvanized cell. I was really happy with this one, it was a really good run, and it made me think what other Omni cells might be coming in the future. Uh, because these are, are all using, you know, they want to use fire, one, one use, is using ice, and so, you know, I want to see more cells like these. I want some cells that use electric, some cells that use earth or something like that. You know, I'm really excited to see what ideas might, they might come. If you have any ideas, just write them down in the comment section. I would really like to hear your opinion on it. Um, 
enjoyed the run i hope the tips helps you the build is at the end if you it can help you even further and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and as always have a great game guys